Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are continuing on our lip week journey of Vlogmas with some Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. I'm like, do I call this a luxury product? I think, yeah, it's a luxury product, right? So these are $18 a piece. I got them for, I think it was $5.25 a piece because Morphe was having a sale. So anyways, these are the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics lip cushions. I bought all five shades that it was available in. Let's check out the product description real quick. So it says, get rich, creamy lip color in blushing hues with an ultra lightweight blurring finish. So I have all five of the shades. I'm gonna start with this one. I kind of like to work backwards as far as like which shades I expect I'll like the least to which shades I expect I'll like the most just because whichever shade that I land on is probably what I'm gonna wear for the day and like wear tests and all that jazz. So, ooh, look at this packaging. This is quite lovely. Jacqueline. Where are my Jaclyn Hill fans at? Sound off in the comments. Let me know, like, what are some of your favorite Jaclyn Hill videos? What do you really like about her? I've never really watched Jaclyn Hill. I just am very aware of all of the drama that she, I would say tends to get caught up in. It's been a while since she's had any like real drama, I think. But I don't know, it could also be that I'm not keeping up with the drama as much as I once was. I don't know a whole lot about Jaclyn Hill. Um, mm, product doesn't really have a smell, but I have been very intrigued by her line. I've heard mostly good things. I've pretty much heard good things. So anyways, let's try this one real quick. I guess I should swatch it first. This one's called Sincerely Yours. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. Interesting. So it's a sort of like moussey kind of texture. Looks like a little kind of brown mid-tone nude moment. Let's try it. interesting not really quite what I was expecting but it's very thick and it doesn't really like thin out if that makes sense so like whenever I pulled the applicator out I wiped off like the extra product like I typically do with a liquid lipstick I find that that usually is just makes for an easier application to start with a little bit and kind of build it. This one though, I had to like go back in and get like a good bit of product on there. And then it actually swiped on pretty easily. On my lower lip, it was pretty easy. I had some, uh, I had some trouble on the top lip, but I think it looks nice. This shade is pretty. It feels really nice on the lips. like. I'm thinking that these are going to be similar to the ColourPop Fresh Kiss lip creams that I just tried. I'll make sure to link that video, but this feels a lot more comfortable on the lips than the ColourPop ones did. Mm -hmm. I might like these. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's let's uh let's uh keep uh keep keep it uh keep keep moving. Now we have four more to go. Hmm, where should I go next? These all look like, just, you know, from the box anyways, colors that I'll probably like. I'm gonna try this one next. This one's called Last First Kiss. I'm really digging this packaging too. This is really nice. I'm actually, I'm, it's like, I'm, I'm only one shade in, but it's already going a lot better. Like, I honestly got on here expecting like, I'm not gonna like this. <laughs> But it's, it's, you know, so far so good. Okay, cute. That looks like a really cute pink color. Okay, let's try it. So this one, I'm not finding to be quite as pigmented and quite as opaque as the first one, which I mean, the first one I think is supposed to be like a little bit deeper anyways. It's a cute color. I'm not obsessed. I'm not like gagged. It's pretty, but yeah, I think I liked the previous one a little bit better actually. 
which is surprising. I would have expected it to go the other way. Sorry, my hair is just like, what is it today? I need to straighten it again. Kind of lukewarm about this one. I am liking the way that this one's feeling on the lips though. It's very comfortable. So yeah, okay, moving on. Okay, I think I wanna try the red one next. This will be really interesting. Red formulas can be really tricky, so this, this will be interesting. This one's called One and Only. Gorgeous, gorgeous packaging. I'm really enjoying the packaging. Okay, interesting. Not as like bright and vibrant of a red as I was expecting based on the packaging, but let's try it on, see what it's like. Okay, <laughs> I like this. This is pretty. Yeah, this one's, it's nice. The opacity of this one is probably the worst so far. It goes a little streaky and then whenever I tried to like go over a spot again and build it a little bit, it did feel like it kind of just would move instead of layer. But I think I got it there. It's just a little, little bit trickier, which I feel like comes with the territory with red lipstick. I wish my hair looked better. None of the shades so far have really wowed me, but I do think that this one's my favorite so far. And again, it feels really nice on the lips. This is one that if you have like a red lip liner, you might line your lips before you put it on. This one's cute, I like it. Okay, moving on. All right, dos mas. Which one should we end with? Let's get them both out and swatch them both and then decide which one I want to end with. Especially since the shades end up looking a little bit different than their containers. So the two shades I have left are Promised and Lip Locked. Let's swatch them. Ooh, yeah. I think I'm going to like this shade Promised. It's this one right here. Cute kind of mauve color. And then this one's called Lip Locked, this one right here. Looks more red than I was expecting. I guess I'll do this one first, Lip Locked, and I'll end on Promised. Ooh, okay. Again, I guess I was expecting this to be more kind of like raspberry type of color. It's pretty red. It's definitely like a deeper red than the other red that I tried. And this one, I am the most impressed with the opacity and the pigment and the application of this one. It's definitely the easiest to apply, very opaque, just like zoop, kind of glided, glid. Yeah, glided, whatever. It, it went on very easily, very smooth, very comfortable. It feels nice and I like this color. Okay, moving along though. All right, now we're going in, which one was it? With the last shade, this one right here, called Hope y'all don't mind. I took a moment to straighten my hair. It was driving me a little bit crazy. So as far as this last shade goes, I'm not just like fully gagged, dying, crazy in love with it. It definitely goes down a little bit more, I say neutral than I expected. I was expecting it to be a little cooler toned, a little mauve -er, but it's very sort of mid-tone neutral pink is how I would describe it. I think it's really pretty and I like it. I wouldn't say that I'm in love with it though. I do really like this one, the Lip Locked, the previous one that I tried. I thought that that one was the easiest. It had the best pigment, it had the best opacity. 
in my opinion. So that's kind of the winner as far as this portion of the review goes. I think that they're pretty shades. I like them all. I don't see all of the shades as being like that wildly different from each other. Maybe it's a tough formula to perfect. You know, I was kind of, I thought it was interesting that she only came out with five shades of this one, but she came out with like 20 shades of her matte liquid lipstick. I don't know. I don't know what that's about. I think it's a nice formula. Feels really good. Very comfortable on the lips. I'm not usually a big fan of like creamy lipsticks. I guess because a lot of times I'm just very aware that it's like a creamy product on my mouth and it's just not that comfortable. These are quite comfortable. Based on the swatches in the short time that I've had this one on, it's definitely not a dry down formula. So it's going to maintain a creaminess. And so I'm fully expecting that it will transfer whenever I like eat or drink, whatever. But I'll be very interested to see how long lasting the color is. So I will go ahead and input, input? I will go ahead and insert a check-in right now. <laughs> oh, this hair, oh my gosh. I'm sorry, please. Oh my gosh, look at, look at it, look at it, look at it. Oh my gosh. You know, some days I get up and I'm like, okay, I can either do my hair today or I can do my makeup today. And uh, I went with makeup today and maybe it wasn't the right choice. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so let's see what the situation is. Okay, it looks like there's still some color left on my lips. So today I was actually wearing the deeper red shade Lip Locked. I had eaten like very shortly after I had put that pink shade on the other day. And so like after I ate, it just was completely gone. So I was like, I'll do, you know, a check in on a different day. I haven't really eaten anything, but I have been sipping on my Starbucks all morning. So you can see that most of the product is there on my cup now. Not a whole lot of it left on my lips. I'll have to inspect this area. It doesn't look like any of it's gotten on there. You know how sometimes like if you eat or something, your lip goes like this and it gets on your chin. I think I just got some of it on my chin by doing that myself. Anyways, so it transfers, it comes off when you eat. The color's not super long wearing, although I am quite impressed by how much of it is still on my lips based on how much of it came off on my cup. I will say though that like the description did say that it would give like a blushed look. So maybe it's supposed to have like a blotted type of thing. Like it's not necessarily supposed to be super opaque. Oh my gosh, I am just like devastated by how my hair looks right now. I'm so sorry. But anyways, so maybe it's not like supposed to be totally opaque. Maybe it's not supposed to be super pigmented. I definitely like that shade Lip Locked the best. Although I'm still not super crazy about any of the shades. So it's kind of a so-so lukewarm type of a feeling on this product for me. I do like these better than the ColourPop ones though, than the ColourPop lip creams. I would say that these are a better product, although they are twice the price of the ColourPop ones. So, you know, make your, make your choices there. I think personally, I'm just a matte liquid lipstick type of a girl. I'm a long wear stay in place type of a lipstick wearer. And that's just a personal preference, but I'd say it's a good product if it's the type of product that you're looking for. Anyways, back to you, me, back to me, you. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna go do something about this hair. Wow, like wow. All right, y'all, but let me know what you think about the, oops, about the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics Lip Cushions. I would say B plus. <laughs> I'm not like obsessed. If the color is long lasting though, then I probably will use these quite a bit, especially in the winter when my lips are quite dry. What are some Jaclyn Cosmetics products that you recommend? What are your favorite products that she makes? This was my first experience with Jaclyn Cosmetics and it's very uh, fine. It's fine. And I think it was a good deal getting them on sale from Morphe. So there we go. Well, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you are enjoying Vlogmas. I hope that you are enjoying Lip Week. And I hope that you will come back and join me for Cheek Week next week. 
and I really thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Okay. Okay. Bye.